Let's wrap up by talking about a few other aspects of foreign exchange markets, which are going to have the same kind of function and scope as spot markets in terms of pricing, but they're going to add the complexity of a time dimension. And this would be the forward market and swaps. So forward markets allow you to contract today for the future purchase or sale of foreign exchange. And that could be at dedicated uh, timings of one month, three months, six months, and so on. No money changes hands today but you can either buy or sell and get the guaranteed price on the foreign currency you're buying or selling at some point in the future. These are going to be used to hedge foreign exchange exposure. So if I know I'm receiving a certain amount of euros from my multi multinational corporation, which does a lot of sales in Europe, so I'm going to be earning euros, and I want to lock in the price at which I can convert those back to dollars, let's say, well, th in that case, I'm going to go ahead and sell the euros forward and I might have a steady stream of forward contracts. I sell at three months and then at six months and at nine months and that way I can take most of the euros I earn and then lock in the price at which I can convert them back to dollars and then I don't have to lose sleep at night worrying that the euro is going to lose value in terms of the dollar. You want to speculate in the foreign exchange market you can take the opposite side of a, of a forward contract. So the person selling the euros forward against the dollar to lock in the exchange rate, another person might think, well, the euro is going to go up against the dollar, so if I could buy them at a kind of guaranteed price right now, I think the euro is going to appreciate and be worth more in the future, I could potentially make profit by locking in the price that I buy at in the future, knowing that I can then instantly take the euros I bought and sell them to the open market at the spot and earn the difference between the forward and spot price. Okay. Forward prices are either going to be higher than spot or lower than spot. If they're higher, it's called trading at a premium. If it's lower, it's called trading at a discount. And that's going to be expressed not in terms of exchange rate, but in terms as a percent deviation from spot. We'll go into details about this in the next lecture. Maturities of 1, 3, 6, 9, and 12 months for forwards are readily available. And there's actually forward contracts that go out 2, 3, 10, 20 years. There's uh, vast market for forwards and foreign exchange and then swaps which are basically just pairs of forward kind of matched pairs of forwards and as we looked at earlier the bulk of foreign exchange transactions are going to be done through the forward and swaps markets rather than spot and then finally forward contracts can be deliverable so you actually receive or are obligated to ought to provide the foreign currency specified or non-deliverable which in which case they're going to work kind of like options where you just settle the difference between the forward price and spot price at the time of expiration, you settle that in cash, usually in US dollar. So here's an example of how forward rate quotations work. American term Swiss franc forward quotation. So American term, what does that mean? It's priced in dollars. How many dollars per Swiss franc? And at the time the book was written, as I said, the Swiss franc was almost at parity, very close to parity. One Swiss franc equals one dollar. Swiss franc was worth just a little bit more than a dollar, 1.001 dollars, just barely more than one dollar per Swiss franc. Now going out forward, that's what the F means, so the S here means spot, the F means forward one month. Notice it's a little bit higher. Forward three months, now it's significantly higher, 1.1, one dollar and one cent. Forward six months, it's one dollar and almost two cents. So you have a pretty significant trend there of what we would call a premium the Swiss franc is trading at a forward premium. How we calculate that in terms of the percent we'll deal with later. We can flip those around. Remember, this is going to be the reciprocal to find the European terms. So this is Swiss francs per dollar. You get currently at spot the reciprocal of 1.0018.9982 Swiss francs per dollar and then forward one, three, six months are going to be the reciprocals of these so it gets a little bit, little bit less. So here we would want to say the Swiss franc up here, we would say the Swiss franc is trading at a forward premium to the dollar. Down here, let's write that down, CHF trading at a premium to the US dollar. So that would mean down here, the US dollar is trading at a discount to the Swiss franc. Okay, and then we'll wrap up for today with swaps. Forwards can be outright or swap. And as I mentioned, swaps are basically just matched sets of forward contracts. So you can do an outright forward, uncovered speculative position in a currency, where you just purchase currency forward. And why would you purchase currency forward? Well, you think the currency is going to rise in value. 
you can lock in the price you're buying at for three months out, let's say, and you think it's going to be worth more than that in terms of spot three months out, so you earn the difference between the spot and forward prices. Some people do that, speculators. It takes a lot of guts to be, uh, be a speculator like that because if you're wrong, you could lose. But uh, if you buy currency forward, let's say because you need to make purchases, you're a business, you're a multinational corporation, you know you need to make purchases of foreign products, you're buying supplies from a foreign company or you have a multinational branch where you need to make payroll to your workers let's say so you need foreign currency at that date certain in the future but you want to offset the risk that that foreign currency goes down in value well you can sell it at the same time to hedge and therefore cancel out the risk of buying it. so you do that through a swap and for right now we just want to know what swaps are we'll go into detail about how they work in a future lecture Okay, and the last thing to mention here is you can gain exposure to foreign currency positions now through exchange-traded funds. So you don't have to be a big-time player with correspondent bank relationship or um, millions of dollars to throw around in the foreign exchange over-the-counter market. Now you can go into an ETF and buy a share in a fund, and that fund could buy stocks or bonds or foreign company stocks or bonds or foreign currencies. So that allows small investors the opportunity to get uh, financial assets that they would otherwise be unable to acquire, including foreign currencies, which are now a somewhat significant portion of the ETF market. 5.4 trillion at the end of March 2019. So pretty significant uh, financial instrument. Okay, so that'll wrap it for us for Forex Basics. Be familiar with how that pricing works. That's gonna be the main thing today. And then going forward, we'll dig into some more detail about uh, foreign currency parity conditions, and we'll have to apply and uh, deepen our knowledge of forwards and swaps. So we'll uh, keep going and keep learning more about foreign exchange markets. This is going to be a big theme of this course for several weeks, so study it carefully, and I'll see you soon.